Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, My Body Spirit Fitness, put in the healing back and health. Follow my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, the podcast is out there. Links down below. Alright, True Crew. So trying to figure out what Satan are you dealing with, right? There's multiple different there's different types of, of Satan. Right? Which one are you dealing with right now? And there's three different things I'm going to go by. I heard a great quote the other day, and it said, Satan, or the devil, calls you by your sin. Jesus calls you by your name. Or God calls you by your name, however you want to put it. Uh, but there's one thing I think we've got to understand, right? I think that right there sums it up. But in reality, there's two different types of devil, two Satan that you're dealing with on a daily basis, right? And the only way we can overcome these is with God and being that spiritual being that we are supposed to be, being on that path. So what two different devils, what two different Satans are there? There's the tempter, right? There's Satan the tempter. And that's because when it comes down to it, we're always going to be victim of this temptation within our lives, right? If we're putting ourselves in horrible situations, we are most likely going to experience a horrible outcome, right? It's like I always tell people, alcoholics don't go to bars just to watch the game, right? Because most likely you're going to end up drinking. A gambleholic should not just go to the casino to walk around and hang out, right? A shopaholic shouldn't be someone that's just going to go walk the mall, right? That's temptation. That's the devil saying, ah, oh, come over here, right? Kind of luring you, that tempter, right? And then, like I said before, devil calls you by your sin. And that's devil the accuser, right? Oh, look, there you go again. Might as well do it. You did it yesterday. Might as well do it today. You're no better than anyone else. Look at you. I've seen you do it before. You're doing it again, right? So we've got the tempter and the accuser. And that's what we've got to understand mentally. What's going on up in here? What are we hearing, right? Uh, so that's the one thing I think you've got to be aware of. Where are you? Are you, are you in that... Uh, temptation or that accusing stage right because we always have these things we have temptations and 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 accusation right and we know what's right and we know what's wrong but unfortunately we dwell on these things and that's where the calming of the mind in my opinion um, really helps you know and we've got to understand I've mentioned this before what does calming of the mind mean right a majority of the time, we all get stuck in this negative aspect of life, right? We dwell on those things. But in reality, it's not being able to let go of that thought that truly messes you up. That's what it means to clear the mind. The clearing of the mind just means letting stuff flow in and letting stuff flow out. Flow in, flow out. The thought doesn't matter, right? It's when you dwell on that thought. Which thought are you dwelling on, right? It's kind of like the we've got the, the little devil man here and we've got the angel here. Which one are you letting control you, right? That, that temptation is always going to be there. And then once you, once you give in to that temptation, now that accusation will always be there. But God's going to call you by your name. So which one are you going to listen to? What are you going to dwell on? Because if you're dwelling on that temptation or you're dwelling on that accusation, right, then you never have that chance to hear the Lord. So you need to make sure that you understand that as well. It doesn't matter if, if you can't stop the mind. It's, there's nothing, you, you want the mind to roam, right? Because that means you're, you're letting these things flow and then you catch the things that you're supposed to catch and let the stuff go. Don't dwell on it. It's going to hold you back. So remember, temptation, accusation, that's the devil. We've got to find those positive thoughts in the middle. Those po that, the, the positivity of God. The beauty and love that God wants to give you. But when we dwell on that temptation and that accusation, we can no longer focus on the love that God wants to give us. So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.